Welcome to another exciting edition of Spark, our weekly series highlighting new features in Lumerical. This time around, we are bringing you the new Stack Solver UI. Stack script commands provide an analytic method for finding the power transmission and field profiles of thin film multilayer planar structures. These serve as an ideal tool for designing AR coatings and optical filters. Furthermore, stack commands can find the far field radiation and Purcell enhancement of spontaneously emitting dipoles within resonant planar structures, which is critical in the design of OLEDs, VEXELs, and quantum photonics. Even simple multi-layer structures often have high Q factors, making them challenging to efficiently model in the time domain. Stack analytic methods return results in less than one second, making it a preferable approach for rapidly refining your design prior to 3D modeling and verification. Prior to 2019B, stack methods were only available through the script workspace, but the new graphic interface allows users to easily define multi-layer structures and specify frequency bandwidth and resolution. Here we have defined an AR coding optimized for normal transmission on silica. The reflection and transmission tab operates on monochromatic plane wave sources with arbitrary incident angle. Here we have defined a Bragg reflector optimized for a wavelength of 1 micron. When we click run, the complex transmission and reflection coefficients are returned for S and P polarization. We can very easily copy the parameters from the RT tab to the fields tab and observe the enhancement in the stack as a function of theta or in comparison with the index value. To look at the far field power density due to dipole emission from within the stack, we can use the stack tab. Here we define the position, spectrum, polarization state, as well as advanced settings such as exciton fraction and relative decay rate. This function returns radiance as a function of emission angle. Here we have a vertical cavity surface emitting laser. The active region enhancement can be optimized using the Purcell tab and far field emission is analyzed. Please keep submitting your ideas in IX and voting for your favorites. Thanks for watching. I hope you are as excited about this new feature as I am. See you next week.